Welcome to Team Quest Strength and Conditioning. My name is Randy Couture. I'm going to be talking to you about some of the tools we use at Team Quest for peak performance. The first tool I want to discuss is the grappling circuit. The grappling circuit is designed for endurance. It's about getting all your reps in and using strict form and not throwing around a lot of weight. The first exercise is the bent over row. It's important when doing the bent over row you keep a nice flat back and execute good form. The second exercise in the grappling circuit is an upright row. You want to have a nice close grip and pull the bar all the way up under your chin. Again, it's important to use a weight that you can work with so that you're not straining and you can get all your reps in. By the end of the sixth set, it doesn't matter what the weight is, you're going to be tired. The third exercise in the grappling circuit is the military press. The military press in front of your face works that shoulder region, one of the major areas when you're grappling and punching very important exercise and again you want to use strict form so that you don't hurt your lower back. Fourth exercise in the grappling circuit is a good morning. You want to work your lower back and keep strict form, keep a nice flat back and really isolate those spinal erectors. Fifth and sixth exercise in the grappling circuit is a split squat left and a split squat right. You're going to do eight repetitions on each side. You want to make sure and keep your head up and stick your chest out. This develops all those stabilizing muscles that you use when you're changing levels and penetrating to take somebody down. I can't emphasize enough that this grappling circuit's not about using heavy weight. It's about using weight you can manage and getting a lot of reps in. The seventh exercise in the grappling circuit is the most difficult exercise. It's a two-part exercise. You're going to squat, you're going to readjust your feet, and do a push press. It's very important on the push press that you don't use your arms to throw the bar up but you buck the bar with your hips and catch the bar with your hands. So the hardest exercise because you have to explode twice to get through this exercise. Nice good deep squat with good form and a nice explosion at the top for the push press. The last exercise in the grappling circuit is a straight legged deadlift. It's important again to keep a good form so you don't injure your lower back. Nice shoulder roll at the top, the bar coming down just below your knees. This is the end of the first set. You want to do six sets of this grappling circuit with 60 seconds rest in between each set. Make sure you get all your reps and you don't put the bar down until you're done. Plyometrics are the next tool we use at Team Quest for peak performance. Plyometrics are really good for your agility, your foot speed, and that dynamic power that you use when you grapple and you fight. The first exercise we're going to use are three sets of ten with medicine ball squat jumps. Depending on your size, you can use anywhere from a 10 to a 15 pound medicine ball. It's important to get good height, explode, bring your knees up to your chest, and get all your repetitions in, trading back and forth with your partner so you get a little rest between sets. As we go through the plyometric routine, we're going to alternate lower body exercises and upper body exercises. They're very ballistic and very taxing, so it's good to have a good partner. It's a good idea to set up your whole plyometric routine so you have all your boxes out there. You can go from station to station very quickly with very little rest in between exercises. After the medicine ball squat jump, we move on to an upper body exercise, which is the medicine ball push-up. Medicine ball push-ups are very good and again ballistic for your upper body. The medicine ball push-up, we're going to do three sets of ten as well. We're going to walk over the ball from one side to the other. Over and back constitutes one repetition. You want to explode and try and move as quickly as you can over the medicine ball. Again, it's important to have a good partner so that you can get a little bit of rest in between each of your sets. You want to make sure and get all your repetitions in. Medicine ball push-ups are a great upper body exercise. The next exercise in the routine is a lower body exercise. It's a two-part exercise, offense hops and defense hops. Offense hops, you go over the box, down and back. You want to have quick feet. You want to make sure not to double jump. It's great for your foot speed and agility. You're going to do three sets of the offense hops, down and back. You want to make sure, again, that you don't land on the boxes and that you have good foot speed. If you have a larger group, 
you can set this up so that you go down the boxes and then sprint back to the end of the line. You're going to see that demonstrated here as well. As you use the larger group version of this exercise, you want to make sure that you go down six times instead of down and back and that you change the direction that you face alternating each set. The next part of this two-part exercise is the defensive hop. You want to bound up on the box with light feet, again no double jumping, and moving back and forth down the row of boxes. Again you can use the large group version of this if you have more than two people or four people. And it's real important that you don't double jump and that you have good control and light feet. You want to concentrate on quick feet and agility. After we do these lower body exercises, again, we're going to move to an upper body exercise. And the next upper body exercise we're going to do is called a medicine ball sprawl. The medicine ball sprawl is a great explosive exercise. It combines some wrestling technique with the ballistic exercise of tossing that medicine ball. You're going to do three sets of ten of the medicine ball sprawl. You have to have a good partner for this exercise. You're going to explode down into the sprawl position as you throw the medicine ball. You have to pop back up in time to catch the ball as your partner is throwing it back to you. After the medicine ball sprawl, we're going to go back to the lower body and we're going to do a combination box jump. I'm going to put the offense and the defensive hop together into one exercise where you hop up on the box and into the hole, then back up on the box and back to where you started, and then all the way over the box. It's a very confusing and difficult exercise. It's great for your agility and your ability to kind of problem solve and figure out how to do this exercise. The combination box hop is a very taxing exercise, and again, you want to make sure you don't double jump. Use the large group version of this exercise. Make sure you give your partner at least a two box space so that you're not jumping on each other. Any kind of boxes will do for these combination jumps and offense defense hops. The boxes I'm using here are irrigation boxes. They're about 18 inches in height. I've seen step aerobics boxes. As long as they'll carry your body weight and can take the jumping, any box will do. We move from the lower body exercise, now back to the upper body and a box push-up. You're going to prop your feet up on one of your boxes and you're going to explode up onto either weights or other boxes from the mat and then up onto those boxes. Again, it's very ballistic and very taxing. You want to do three sets of ten of these exercises. The last exercise in the plyometric routine is the standing box jump. You want to jump once then two jumps, then three jumps, all the way up to six, and then back down to one, followed by a 10 second squat. It's good to have good partners for this to push you. It's very taxing on your thighs. It's a great exercise. Again, you're gonna do three sets of these standing box jumps. It's important to try and keep good form and keep yourself going and get all the sets. This plyometric routine is designed for dynamic speed and power and it's a very good routine. It's one of my favorite routines.